Hello, welcome all. In this video, we are going to demonstrate the implementation strategies of 1D convolution neural network in a low cost embedded platform like Raspberry Pi. Before that, we need to know the basic of convolution neural network. In the following image, we can see a structure of 2D convolution neural network or CNN. In a typical CNN, there are two parts feature selection and classification. In 2D CNN, features of the images are extracted from the convolution layers and finally with the fully connected layer, the subject is being classified. Here we are representing a generic 1D CNN model with two convolution layers. In case of 1D CNN, instead of images, it use 1D data of a finite length and also it use 1D kernels to extract the features and accordingly the consecutive convolution layers follow the same rule and extract the better features. After that, a subsampling or max pool layer is placed to discard the redundant features. Like in this case, the output of the convolution layer is reduced from 8 cell to 2 cells. And finally, the selected features are transferred to the neurons of the fully connected layer for further processing. The number of neurons of the fully connected layer can be increased to improve the result. After that, the data transferred to the softmax layer marked as green color through which the final accuracies are calculated. Activation functions like ReLU, LogSigmoid, TanH are generally used by these neurons and the convolution kernels. We have deployed this 1D CNN to identify the transmission line fault of a 5 bus system for which we have selected a IEEE 5 bus system and the 10 different transmission line faults including the healthy condition are introduced in a specific transmission line between bus 1 and bus 2 with the shown fault parameters and simulated in MATLAB to generate the training data to train 1D CNN. After performing a large simulation in MATLAB Simulink, the following dataset has been prepared which is based on 20 kHz sampling frequency on the half cycle of three phase transmission line current signal. This dataset has total 18,150 samples of 11 different class where each sample has a data length of 600 data points. So, in a nutshell, the whole process can be explained in such a way that initially the current will be captured with a data equation system, then those signals will need to be processed, then it will be fed to 1D CNN to train and as a result, with the prepared model, the faults will be classified. So accordingly, we have prepared a generic 1D CNN model to train with the prepared dataset. The model consists of three convolution layers with ReLU activation, three max pool layer, one flatten layer, one dense layer with ReLU activation and finally one softmax layer. The convolution kernels has a data length of 3 with a stride of 1 and their numbers are 64, 32 and 16 respectively for the three convolution layers. In max pool layer, the sap sampling ratio is set to 2 is to 1 with a stride of 2. Flatten layer is just a data organization layer and in the dense layer, 128 neurons has been taken. After successful training, it has been found that this model can yield 99.95% accuracy on the noisy test data set when signal to noise or the SNR ratio is set to 30 dB with a cost of 2,15,392 multiply carry accumulate or MAC operations. Later, another optimized model is proposed with the data length of 5 in all of the convolution kernels and also the convolution kernel numbers are changed to 5 for all the convolution layers. The neurons in the dense layer is reduced to 20. After successful training, it has been found that the MAC operation is reduced to 76,845 and the accuracy reached to 99.59%. 
So from the previous architecture, the MAC operation reduced to 64.32% with a negligible loss around 0.36% in the accuracy. All the trainings are performed in Python TensorFlow environment using NVIDIA GPU. The trained models are saved and later in our condition monitoring lab, we have write a Python script from scratch for inference the previously saved models. And an interesting result has been found while executing those models. The generic 1D CNN model takes on an average 51 seconds to test a data sample where the optimized model takes only 1.15 second to execute the same. Please enjoy the following short demo of Raspberry Pi inferencing the 1D CNN models. Thank you. Have a nice day.